Okay, welcome to Fusion 360 class with Aaron. Um, today, guys, in your technology year 10 class, you're going to be drawing some joints. So the first thing I need you to do is turn on your Fusion 360 and open it. All right, so these are the joints you'll be drawing today. In this lesson will be as a simple butt joint with two pieces of pine timber. Alrighty, so let's get started. Now before we get too involved in this drawing, I need you to do a couple of things for me. I need you to click up here into your account. Uh, first of all, check that it says your name in the account and not someone else in your classes. If it, if it is someone else's name, you need to sign out and re-sign back in. But in preferences, I need you, you to ensure that Z is up for this uh, demonstration purpose here today. The second thing I need you to do is come over to the left hand side over here and when we expand the document units make sure it says millimetres here as well. Okay, Do not proceed unless you've done that. Okay guys, so let's get started. The first thing you will probably do or your instructor will have you do is come over here to your data panel and create yourself a new project. I would suggest calling it your name and tech 10. Once you click enter, of course, don't you type your name, you put your real name there. And we'll open that up now, double click on it, and we'll go into your, your actual project that you're making here. Now in here, we can make a new folder and we'll call this new folder Timber Joints. And click enter. Now your instructor will want you to click on people up here and type in his email address, okay? and it will be an edu mail address. It won't be my teacher, of course. It will be either, for example, Mr. River, Mr. Michelini, or Mr. Wells, etc. Okay, so I'm just gonna delete what I've done there and come back into here. Okay, guys, so let's get started. So you notice I've got that project open. You're gonna start a new, a new drawing today so that you need to click this little positive tab here called a new design, and it will come up here as untitled project. Click save straight away and check that you'll put it inside that location that you just created. And I'm gonna call this one butt joint, okay? And you can see here that I've created the file and let's get started. We're gonna try and design this in a top-down strategy, all right? Your teacher will explain more to you about bottom-up and top-down strategies later. We'll click on this icon here, which is called a new component. Upon new component, guys, get in the habit of clicking the cross, coming back to the tree and clicking the butt joint there. All right. Double click in here and type in timber, timber one. Click OK. What I need you to do now is to click on a, create a new sketch and click on that front face. So we're going to use R for rectangle. OK. Or we can click down here and pick up rectangle from here. All right, guys, but I'm just gonna use a simple R for rectangle, click from the center and drag out. This will be 42, tab, type in 125, tab. Tab is the tab key on the keyboard. Once I tab that and enter, it will lock those dimensions in. If you accidentally miss that, so if you were to do this R for rectangle and you snapped it and forgot to do the dimensions, just simply press the escape key Press D for dimension and put those dimensions back on yourself, okay? Remember those dimensions were 42 by 125. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna apply a feature and this feature is called an extrude. Extrude lives up in here, create extrude, or you'll notice the shortcut key is E. E for extrude, click that face and type in 19 millimeters and 19 millimeters appears, click okay. Now, click Save. So there's our first piece of timber created. You can see it here. And if I press the playback key down the bottom here in the timeline, you can see it appear. Let's start the second timber now. Click New Component. Remember, come over here in the parent file. You're gonna deselect that, come all the way back up to the top and click Butt Joint, okay? Double click in here and you're gonna call this Timber 2. Click OK. What I want you to do now is click a new sketch over here or create a sketch. Click this front window plane here. So you can see here there's a ground plane, sorry, front plane and lateral plane. I want you to click the lateral plane, sorry. R for rectangle again. 
and I want you to snap from that top corner and drag down. Over here, you're gonna type in 125, press the tab key, 42, press the tab key, press enter, okay? E for extrude, click that front face. Now notice here, I'm not viewing in an isometric view. Come over here to the home key, and if it didn't do that, and you can, you can use your scroll wheel to zoom in and zoom out, or even click on your scroll wheel to drag it around the, around the uh, window there, orientated around the window. Type in 19 in an extrusion box and click OK. Make sure over here in the extrude profile, guys, that your, your says this, just in case you've mucked around with it and change it, make sure it says new body as well. Click OK. Alrighty, so remember again, guys, we need to save. So there we have, we've created our two components, all right? So what we need to do here, we come up to a top level. You can see here now, if I wanted to activate the first one, I'd click the button. If I wanna activate the second one, I select that and activate the button. But I wanna activate it at a parent level. So I come right up to here and I click that button and there I've got the whole thing activated. You'll notice now I can grab this one and I can grab that one and move it around. I'm gonna undo that. What I want you to do now is to apply a joint between these two so they do not move. So you're gonna come up to assembly, click the drop down arrow and click as built joint. You're gonna select this piece of timber, that piece of timber, and you can see now it's rigid if I press animate again and click okay. These two are now locked in and they will not move. We're gonna apply some color to these now, some rendering. So we come up to this parent file and right click and I want you to select Appearance. Click Appearance, and in here, guys, you'll need to pick uh, whatever you wanna pick, but I would suggest you pick wood, that's what you're doing, and I'm gonna use Glossy Pine here. Now, if the, if the uh, rendering is not available for you, all you do is come across to the right-hand side and download that rendering, okay? And it will take a little bit, and it will download, and you'll be able to use that straight away. So, for argument's sake, I'm gonna use the bamboo for that one. I'm gonna use the mahogany for there. And actually, I might use the pine semi-gloss for there. And you can see the contrast of two different colors. Click close and click save, guys. And if I come over to my data panel, you can see um, it's gone in here. Now I should have made, when I click save at the start, I should have put it in there, but don't panic, we can move that file. Okay, so watch this. I'm gonna close this one and close the original one I drew for you. You'll notice if I go in here, it's not in there. I'm gonna come back one. I'm just gonna simply right click on that and go move. And I'm gonna pick that folder and go move. And that will put that back into that folder and you can see now it's in there. Now your instructor will be able to see this. He'll be able to check your drawing on his iPhone or iPad or mobile device uh, or look at it on his computer. Okay, thank you for this first lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next lesson.